Welcome. And for now, is a Huawei P Smart from 2019. And I'll show you a couple of tweaks and tricks that you can do on this device. So jumping straight to it, we're gonna enable app drawer because Huawei decides to download their apps on the home screen, as you can see, without giving you the app drawer like every other normal Android. So there is actually a way to change it. And to do it, we'll need to go into settings, then go into home screen and wallpaper. And from here, you'll have home screen style, and you can just select the drawer, which is the second one. And once you leave, it will give you the drawer now, right here. And now all the apps can be found here, and uh, the previous ones that are still on the home screen, you can just pinch the screen, and then select each of them and drag and throw them out also now they are and they are actually not being like removed completely out of the device they're just being removed from the main screen to make it a bit clear you can also yeah so yeah uh, this also works with uh, with other Huawei phones you can do that, but the settings might the setting for the app drawer might be located somewhere else. So it could be located under the display. Um, so you could, it could be somewhere like display, and then here home screen style. Um, but if basically if you see on the main menu home screen, then it will won't be under the display. So that's basically the gist of it and how it works. Now the second thing I will show you is the option to hide the notch. Uh, some people hate it and there is a way just to hide it easily and it's going to be under the, the display. So let's go into the display settings and uh, more display settings and you can see notch right here. So click on it and you can just select it to hide it. I will basically turn it black to mimic like it's not there I guess. I I particularly don't mind it. any kind of notch. I have a huge one on my device, so it doesn't really bother me. But like I, like I said, some people hate it, so there is an option for that. Now moving on, it will be the eye comfort. So if you're using the phone at night, often, for instance, I do, it's a nice feature to help you, I guess, fall asleep easier if you're using the device basically turns the display a little bit yellowish mitigating a little bit of a blue light um, and the blue light is really harsh on the eye kind of waking you up so it helps you later on to fall asleep and to do it you can tap on the pencil and you will see this little eye comfort right here so we can just grab and drag it right here go back and you can either activate it by tapping it like so or you can also hold it and go into the settings where you can set it to be enabled at a specific time by schedule. So you can basically select from what time you want it to start. So let's say eight till seven in the morning. And basically from this time on until uh, seven in the morning, it will be a little bit yellowish like so. And you can also crank it up or make it a little bit less yellowish. So it's not really visible here. Um, so yeah, that's basically how you can customize it to, to your needs. But if you don't want to set a schedule and just activate it occasionally, you can just tap on it from here and disable it also from here. So uh, moving on, we're going to go into gesture navigations, which I personally really like. And it's going to be under the system and system navigation. Right here and from here you can choose the first one with the gestures and uh, now you have the gestures so basically swiping from the side like so as you can see a little arrow appears it's also on the other side as well you can swipe both from both sides and it will work uh, and it's basically a back button or you can swipe up swipe up from the bottom uh, as a home screen swipe up and hold for the recent apps 
And also uh, there is a Google Assistant, which is right from the side, also swipe up. You can see that little icon and it opens up Google Assistant. So basically all the features are still here. You just don't see all the buttons on the bottom. And the last thing I will show you is the split screen feature, which I'm actually going to open up some apps because I just closed them. Um, so let me map Chrome, for instance, and settings. And from here, um, once you go into recent apps, you see these little two bars, basically. If you tap on it, it will open up split screen and then you can choose another app from here to work in split screen with. So you can browse the web while also watching YouTube, but connect to a Wi-Fi. So I have actually something to show. Sec. I don't know, was that some kind of bug or whatever? It kept like closing on its own. But as you can see right now, it works. This mess. And uh, can turn on any video and watch it. Let's just not turn on anything that is music because copyright. So as you can see, you have a video here and then you can also normally say chat with someone as long as the keyboard isn't in the way as it is right now. So a couple little bit of setup needed for it to work fully and without any hiccup at the moment, but as you can see, I keep getting prompted with setups of keyboards and other stuff, but in, in normal use, it works fine once, once the entire device is set up and not fresh as it is right now. So that was the last thing I wanted to show you. And uh, if you found this, this tips helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thank you for watching.